Hi guys, this is Rahul here from myview.rahulnaybe.net, which is my blog. Here in this screencast, I'm going to talk to you about um, dynamic binding. So in the previous screencast, we have seen like how to get started with um, some of the bindings like around uh, property binding, style binding, and um, how to do that uh, with the event as well. Like uh, if you like to associate some kind of handler with uh, some kind of Tom properties, let's say uh, clicking off um, uh, uh, button itself so, or click event handler uh, kind of thing, we, we have already seen those things. Now, um, in order to get started with this particular stuff, I have two eye icons over here, as you can see in this markup file. So this is nothing but a glyph icon and which is uh, going to emit me a thumbs up and thumbs down property, uh, basically icon over on the page. Um, so let me just uh, quickly run this up and uh, let me sh just show you this, uh, what it is going to do here. So <laughs> here is a page I, which I have over here. And um, it is uh, basically emitting me both the icons. And um, let's say I like to um, do something on the click of this particular one of the icons. I like to toggle this um, thumbs up or thumbs down. Then how would I achieve that? So the intent of this particular topic is um, to express you like um, uh, how, how do you want to handle this kinds of inputs uh, which is coming uh, based on some kinds of input um, uh, getting supplied from the back end right so <clears throat> in order to achieve the same what i have done is i have taken one property which is is okay and it is getting in a slice with um, a boolean which is uh, i have kept as false now this is okay again getting toggled over here in this in this function which you can see over here so this is basically uh, resetting it to that opposite whatever the state is so let's say it is uh, false, then it is going to reset it to uh, true upon the click of this particular icon, right? So this is fairly simple example around this kind of dynamic binding. Now in order to make this dynamic, uh, what I'm going to do here is very first thing um, I would be um, simply commenting this out. I won't be needing this. And since I said like I'm going to make it dynamic, so I would be utilizing this class binding over here. So in order to utilize this class binding, um, obviously I'll be doing everything uh, in the square brackets. I'm just taking this um, one line uh, below uh, to just to make it uh, more visible to you guys. So what I'm going to do here is class dot. So this has become uh, class binding within the square brackets. Um, and this uh, particular uh, subsequent class is going to be utilized upon. And um, here I need to put again the square brackets and it, it needs to be assigned with the prop which I am using here in the component, right? So this is, is okay, which I'm going to put over here. And this is fine. Now what I'm going to do is um, let's take one line below more. Just copy and paste this thing. Only thing is we just need to change this class thumbs down one more thing i'd like to do here is not operator because i'm emitting false from the page so for thumbs up it should be not so that can be true then it would be like button a like icon uh, and down is okay this is my closing tag so this is also okay now there also a need for doing some kind of event handling so as i said earlier in the screencast for any kind of event handling, we are going to use small brackets. It's like you are calling any method. So you just remember around the same lines. If you are doing event binding, it's like calling a method. So you will put everything inside this small brackets. So I need to associate this click handler, right? It is again getting assigned with my um, whatever is the function name. So this is on check. So this is my function name and this is done now. So I guess everything is okay, everything is done. <clears throat> so this is the fairly simple uh, example around how can you make something dynamic uh, utilizing property binding and uh, event binding just in a nutshell, right? So uh, this is the one prop which is getting exported from, from this particular movie form component, right? And it is available in the markup over here. Now just... Uh, 
run this page again and uh, let's see what it is going to produce whether the output is intended or not so this is you can see over here right so this is currently like is coming when i click on this this has become disliked and subsequently vice versa so it is working fine as expected now if i have to inspect this so simply i go there and right click and inspect element and let me show you live what is happening uh, behind the scenes so since i have um, binded this property uh, with the style binding and there is a an handler associated with that so this is the thing which is coming here now the um, just uh, focus on this particular thumbs up which i'm highlighting below in that inspector um debugging part right so in, in, in the inspector section so as soon as i click on this um, icon it will become thumbs down so this is how it is uh, swiftly changing and um, changing the class dynamically so this is the one way thing and another thing which you like to inspect upon like what are the things which is getting associated with that right so you can think of this event is associated with that so when you click on this and just uh, put in this bubbling piece so it will say that this is invoking some kind of function which is associated which is associated with this particular icon so this is nice little trick around that so i hope you have liked the session around um, how to handle this uh, dynamic binding around angular 2 and in the coming sections we are going to extend this particular example with um, input and output properties so stay tuned and happy coding thanks